So once you have your modes um, column activated, and you can see it here, um, what we do is you take the top layer and then you can blend it with the bottom layer using these different kinds of modes. So if you click on this mode column and you see the normal, there are many, many kinds of uh, modes here. Uh, this first block is basically uh, people typically use normal and then the opacity for that layer. This, this block here is about darkening, similar to what in, in Photoshop, you can make things darker. This one is to make things brighter. And then this is a combination of using brightness and uh, darkness um, to create better contrast. Then there's some specialty ones right down here. Okay, so the first one we're going to try is to multiply. So choose multiply and take a look at that. So what I, what that does, it takes all the dark values of the previous one um, and basically blends it using the dark pixels of the top layer. So that's a little better. So how do you compare? Um, see this little icon right here? Uh, so the snapshot, you can reveal, you can press F5. So press F5 and that's what our previous snapshot is. And then if, when you let go, it'll show you what you're currently seeing. So this was, this was when we just used transparency. And here's when we used the multiply blend mode. Let's try a different one. Let's try, um, let's try one of these. Let's try screen, because that's a normal one. Uh, a lot of people use screen. So when you use screen, now it's using the white pixels to blend in. All right, so that's a little bit. Uh, so now we're brightening this, this image. F5 again to compare with transparency only. It's a little bit better. And then try overlay, because that one's a common one also. So with overlay, you get more contrasts. All the darkers are darker, and the whites are brighter, and you're blending better with the image down below. Press F5 again to compare with our snapshot. All right. So you could do another snapshot. So let's do another snapshot. So first, first let's go to back to multiply take a snapshot he just had a snapshot now let's change this to screen now press F5 so there's the, the previous snapshot so that's how you can use the snapshot thing um, you can mess around with these other ones to give you different kinds of effects of how one blends with the other um, so give that a try. Just check it out. See how see how they blend one layer on top of the other. And with blend modes, it's always blending the top layer with the bottom one. 